So I got started like all of you. I was a rank newbie at one time uh, and had no idea where to go. Hey, Chuck, remember me? We sure go back a long way through our association with Jewish Gen. I've been involved with Jewish Gen since 1994. We're there from the beginning. And I think you're one of the first volunteers that ever made a trip to Houston and actually saw those servers in my living room and dining room. That was quite a sight. And I began my uh, family history research just about the same time that Al Gore invented the internet. <laughs> what comes to mind when I think about Chuck is any time I have to hand him the microphone in a meeting for him to give an announcement, he invariably will say, I don't need that microphone. You can all hear me in the back, can't you? Somewhere around that time, somebody had written into Ann Landers and said, Dear Ann Landers, I'm looking for a way to trace my family history, but I don't have a lot of money to spend on it. Can you give me any suggestions? And uh, her answer was very succinct. She said, run for public office. <laughs> This year we have the great honor and opportunity to rename our Volunteer of the Year Award in honor of Susan E. King, Jewish Gen's founder. And there was really no question in terms of who the inaugural recipient of this award should be. And that was Chuck Weinstein. Chuck has this unique ability to help other people while at the same time motivating them to likewise get involved with Jewish Gen. So people think they're asking Chuck a question. What they don't realize is that Chuck is actually recruiting them to become a volunteer as well. I don't think he deserves the award for this year. I think he deserves it for the last several years. We need to acknowledge that, really, when we talk about giving him an award. Chuck has been a, an enormous help in just about every aspect. He's been incredible on the Facebook page, answering all sorts of questions knowledgeably. He is so kind when people come and ask questions, often questions that I don't have a clue about. Chuck always knows the answer. I've always found Chuck to be friendly, cool, patient, determined, and unflappable. His work is comprehensive, and he won't take no for an answer. He'll always find something relevant for you. He's the primary reason why our town's program and the Cahill Link's ownership has been so incredibly successful. Chuck shared Susan's vision that Jewish Gen should transcend the very basic definition of genealogy, that it should be more than just investigating names and dates and, and places, that it would tell the stories of those who came before us. This was most manifest in Chuck's involvement with the Kehila Links project, which he fostered for a number of years. Kehila Links, which were designed to serve as virtual memorials to Jewish communities, which no longer functioned throughout the world, have now grown to more than 1,000 pages so that others throughout the world could understand the context in which their ancestors lived. Chuck really jumped in on that and has recruited so many new people. For me, it was Shtetlinks, or what we now call Kahila Links. That was my entry to Jewish genealogy and Jewish gen. And I thank you for that, Chuck. I've got 12 Kahila Links now, and they have been enabling me to dialogue with folks around the world, to exchange information, and help others. The person who oversees Kahila Links today Susanna Leisner Block remembers her father receiving a letter shortly after the end of the Holocaust informing him that there were no surviving members of his family and for that matter very few people from his town. And Susanna remembers her father explaining that he was mourning for his family and friends but he was also mourning for the traditions and the way of life in his community which would no longer be preserved and transmitted. And as a little girl, Susanna looked up at her father and promised him that she would do everything in her power to remember not only her own family and community, but all Jewish communities throughout the world. And then the decades went by until one day Susanna was online and discovered Jewish Gen and our Kahila Links project. And then finally she had an opportunity 
to keep that promise to her father. And all of this was because of Chuck Weinstein. Take a look at the over 2,000 postings on our history of our discussion lists. And you'll see Chuck there answering questions from when the list was created. Thank you, Chuck, for all you've done. You're a real maven. I am so grateful to be able to call Chuck Weinstein my friend. I'm so grateful for all that he's done for me personally over the years and for what he does for all of us, for the knowledge that he brings to all of us and for the kindnesses and help that he gives to all of us whenever we need it. Congratulations, Chuck. This is an honor well-deserved and very long overdue. We at JGSLI are incredibly proud of Chuck Weinstein and feel he's very deserving of this honor. I can't imagine anyone more deserving of the first Susan E. King Volunteer of the Year Award for Jewish Gem than you, Chuck Weinstein. As we say in Mexico, felicidades. Thank you, Chuck, for all that you do. This award is very well deserved. We appreciate your devotion and look forward to working together with you for many, many more years in the future. Mazel tov. Congratulations, Chuck. Salute. Beep it, beep it, that's all, folks. <laughs>